How you doing? You alright? Do you remember me? I used to post videos up all the time and then it suddenly stopped. There's a reason why it suddenly stopped. Let me show you what that is. Been in here doing up the garage. This is garage 2.0 slash brew shed slash whatever. And we'll have a look inside. Greetings from a very empty and echoey echo, echo, echo. brew shed. Um, well, it's not really a brew shed yet. That's what we're intending to do. So I've threatened it for a long time. The, the weekend has finally come. It's bank holiday weekend. I'm off. And it's got a dry weather. So this is the ideal time to do it. Okay, so I haven't moved everything out yet, as you can see. I've still got a beer fermenting in that end fridge. Well, it's dry hopping at the minute. The beer fridge is full of beer and that is full of hops and stuff. So we're going to try and work around those three fridges. The keyser is gone. The keyser is just down there. It's all disconnected. I have been drinking like a champion the kegs in that. And I managed to finish them last night. What a relief that was, I tell you. Drinking every day for two weeks just to finish them. So that's going to stay down there until the end of this. So, um, where do we even start? Where do we even start? We'll start at the wood. There you are. So I'm going to be using the OSB board. Now I was thinking about using play wood. This board is like, that is what, 24 pound a sheet was it? Something like that. Play wood was 30 pound a sheet. But I read somewhere that that's, it's easier to, or better to paint over that. Which is what I want to do in the shed. You can see I've got a bit of framing timber in there as well. And this is basically the garage, the way it stands. So, there's still these kind of a shelving unit, but everything is in boxes there, so it's easy to move tomorrow. Prepared, at least. So yeah, we're six meters long, by four meters wide. So the intention is for half, well, slightly more than half of it to be a normal garage. You can see the kind of two wall there has been changed has been moved basically from that side to there and then basically this half we're going to do the walls we need to do the floor and we need to do the ceiling as well now it's a three stage operation the first stage was basically to, to clean the place out you won't believe the amount of crap I had in here that I've dumped Second stage then is putting the walls up and the third stage is going to be the ceiling and the floor. So the walls you can see, I uh, I, I don't have a, any budget left for proper insulation in here. So we're going with the cardboard box and duct tape method. Um, I had to, I had a load of wood sitting in the, in the garage here, which is now outside. I had to go and buy a bloody wood shed. To store all that stuff, so I spunked like I don't know 270 quid or something like that on it, which uh, yeah wasn't nice. So anyway, never mind all that. So yeah, we've got cardboard boxes here. So the plan is to basically just put the wood, frame it. I've got a point and stick, frame it, and then we get the wood up. You know how this works. Um. The wood is, the panels are something like, what, 2 point, well, they're, they're not 2.4 metres, they're 8 foot. So I haven't actually measured them, but 8 foot is slightly over, so like 2, 4 centimetres over, 2.4 metres. Now, 2.4 metres from the ground, and I'm not going to have the the OSB board, the plywood sitting on the ground, the concrete. I'm going to have it up maybe a centimetre. So 2.4 metres is actually about halfway up to there from the ground so I can get most of it done and then I just need to put a little like cap over it which hopefully will be painless um, so yeah I'm gonna need to obviously cut a bit here I think it's something like 2.3 meters up to the bottom of that beam the bottom of that silver beam there so yeah we need to have a We need to cut a bit off that. And then, as far as the width goes, I'm going to partition it. Going to partition a bit off because I need somewhere to store, I need a clean area for B 
basically my brewing stuff and to keep out the flies and spiders and to have it a little bit insulated, a little bit warmer. So the plan is not to go the full way across. I am going to wall the whole way, over the halfway, but I'm actually going to you put the partition wall roughly where that's kind of where this strip is. That's about I don't know two. That's about two point four meters, I think it is. It's a width of two of them anyway. It's about eight foot. Let's say eight foot. So yeah, you can see there that that should be that's a fair size as it is. Certainly across, and then when you kind of see it from this angle, yeah. That's not too bad at all. Even if it isn't going to the full halfway, because I still need to use I have more stuff for the garage than I have brewing stuff for the for the minute anyway. So that's that is the plan, and then we're gonna put a door in somewhere in the middle and then um, Yeah, that should be us. Cut to me standing in an empty garage with the walls behind me covered in the OSB board unpainted. That's the way it was supposed to be, that's the way it was, until some idiot, who will remain nameless, deleted the uh, finished videos. So I basically had videos of every stage along the way of the build, and somehow I deleted it. Not only that, I had actually edited the video, 26 minutes long, and I somehow managed to <laughs> delete the video after, the, the video, original video files, after I edited it. I mean, you couldn't make it up, really. Couldn't retrieve them either. So, we're back to this, which is me basically showing you what I've done after the fact. Which is not great, let's be honest. But, it's all we've got. So, um, as you can see, we are still in the front of the, in the garage, in front of the kind of new brewery slash um, storeroom slash man cave, whatever you call it. Um, first of all, you can see that it's looking pretty good. It's kind of like a painted a kind of cream colour. Same with the door as well. And obviously the frame and the kind of uh, the bits over the top. The skirts are that kind of mahogany red colour. So it's just, it's just uh, pine, pine wood and then it's just being painted with um, the mahogany red paint, which I really like. It's the stuff I used on the Keyser, so that was kind of the whole, the reason why I used that one. So it, it looks, it actually looks really good um, on camera. One of the reasons why I've got a big beam up there and for the skirts is just to hide all the shitty bits. I am not, I am not like a joiner, I am not a carpenter, a DIY enthusiast, I but that, see trying to get out of the wood up there and in the corners over there, that was, a, that was hard, that was very hard. To begin with I didn't really know what I was doing, making the cuts and then as time went on they were getting straighter and straighter and neater and tidier and yeah, I used all my know-how to get up into the peak there so thank god for that. So okay. Let's see you. Uh, I'll show you what I've got. So, first of all, we have it's a six meter long garage, okay? So I have walled half of it. There's half over there. So we put the board up to half, and then I wanted a little bit of space. This is why, because I wanted to hang all this stuff. Because floor space is at a premium in this garage. I really don't have an awful lot. It looks like I do, but I really don't. So uh, yeah, and then this side, this is somewhere where I can put basically the lawnmower, that massive big tractor that's you know gonna go in the dump some of these days secretly, um, and just like chairs and stuff for sitting outside. So uh, yeah, that's kind of why I didn't go the full width because I need more storage space in here, um, and then we'll we'll go to the door. So, I mean, the door was the bit I was worried about the most, and with, and I was right to worry because it was a bit of a nightmare. It was very hard to do. Um, you'll notice that there's actually a little latch up here, 
on the door handle. That's because I didn't fancy my chances of putting the the latch in down here. Because I had struggled enough with the door. I mean, the door frame, I don't know how many times I measured that bloody thing. And that was plumb every single time on all sides. Uh, it was still a struggle to get that door in. But I won in the end. I beat it. So that is a small victory for me. Yes, thank you very much. I'll take it. Okay, so this is it. This is the new space. So, first of all, before we go in, actually, I'll show you the floor. So I've actually painted the floor. I was talking about putting the vinyl sheet down. I still want to do that because, um, just basically because you can see there's some of the scrapes on the floor. That was from the keyser. And then over here, you can see in the corner, look at the scrapes around that freezer. So that is not good. That will need to be touched up at some point. But, um, yeah, I think that's why I want to do the kind of the um, the vinyl floor because that's not going to happen or not. But that'll have to wait the next year. I'm not about to do it now. So let's go in and have a look around. So we'll go to this side first. You can see we've got the Kaiser in, got some shelving units in here. This kind of stuff is all stuff that was, um, see this here, on the shelf up there. Stuff that's been hanging around in my house for years on end, like probably nine or ten years, and I didn't chuck it out. And you would come in handy someday, like but that's especially good because it means I can store paints and stuff in there and in there. And excellent. Um, I'm gonna put. I've got a TV, a small kind of flat screen TV that's gonna go up there. I just haven't brought it down yet. I'm gonna get around to it, and then hook it up to the Chromecast, and then I can watch whatever. Um, I've got a notice board just for basically people send me notes and with bare mail and I read it, put it down, then I can never find it again. That's what that's for. So we've also got Alex, we've got the Albany Pilsner one. Fantastic, thank you very much. Um this is just a little shitty basically reclaimed thing, it's a bit of pallet weed or something like that. It looked really tidy. So sanded it down, painted it on basically stuck it up. It's not very stable like because I've only got it's not brackets or nothing like that. I need to get some proper brackets but it's only light stuff going up there anyway so um and then kind of we've got all these shelving units around here. This is where the heavy stuff is. So um it's kind of greens, loads of empty bottles and stuff. There's full bottles over there. My Christmas beer is down there. Got a load of grain. I'm carrying a lot of grain because we're kind of in lockdown. There's not a sack of grain down there. We're in a kind of. We're not in lockdown. You're not allowed to call it lockdown. We're in a circuit break. Whatever the hell that means. It means lockdown. And then all the stainless stuff up there. And then up at the top. Um, this is just a bit of plywood that I had knocking about the house. Didn't want to chuck it out. But uh, put it up there on um, just really plastic stuff, just light stuff, no heavy stuff that'll not hold. Um, plastic fermenters, obviously, and the kind of the barrels they use for the water, collecting the water. Um, down here, then, I've got a little shitty table. Uh, it, it used to be a shitty table, actually. It used to be, like, really crappy chipboard. I found it at my mum and dad's house. Give it, like, a paint and put, like, a glass top on it. And you know what? It's a good job. Good job now. And then over this side, we have got the fridges, um, which are fermenting at the minute. Um, we've got a f the freezer there, and then I built this kind of worktop over the top of it. So this is basically, this is another bit of plywood. This is kind of the, the, the stuff we have on our shower, rather than tiles. So it's waterproof, and it's just, it's excellent. I didn't want, never wanted to throw that out because I knew I would use it more than the other one. Now I've used both. The only thing was it was too short. So I've had to cut another bit of OSB there and paint it. Now I painted it. I had a couple of different blacks and I never liked the finished article. But that, that's hammerite for metal. And it came up nice and glossy. And I actually quite like the look of that. So um, that's a little tip for anyone. Um, plastic drawers, don't need to look at that. And then I've kind of put this kind of, this is just more wood basically, just to hide the back of it. 
to tidy it up a bit. And the only thing that's untidy is kind of this. In terms of the electrics, um, I was thinking about putting more kind of sockets down here because I knew this is where most of the stuff was going. But this is all kind of, you know, this is only like low wattage stuff, fridges, freezer, there's like a radio there, you know, phone chargers, this is all really low wattage stuff, so we don't really need loads of extra plugs. The only high wattage stuff we've got is the kettles, and they can go in, you know, one of the extra plugs or on the far side, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, so yeah, I wasn't sure about this, this is like bloody eight, eight sockets. Probably should have got a long one, and then I could have just put it along the top and be tidier, but you know what, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So yeah, that's very handy then for doing grains and stuff and just basically working. So that is top job. Got a dartboard up there as well, of course. Of course, out here all the time now. And then it's just really another one of these little storage shelves here. And then it's just kind of basically this wall is not going to be for storing anything. It's just for for decorating basically. So I've got more stuff to come out here, but I just haven't got around to doing it yet. Um, so in terms of the in terms of the wall, I'll actually show you the wall. So this is how the OSB board, if we can see that, can you see that? This is the way the OSB board comes out when it's painted. So it does still have that same kind of texture to it, but it's I wasn't sure about it to begin with, but I think more time has gone on. I quite like it. I quite like the kind of finish on it. It looks a bit like Eddie Van Halen's guitar. You know, all those bits going over all the directions. So, I mean, it turned out, I think it was, I think it was one or two coats of the, um, it's like Leyland Tread uh, acrylic primer and undercoat I used, and then on the top, I used, I think it was one or two coats off, um, like a satin type of white finish. I want the white so it will be bright because there's no kind of natural light getting in here. And bright it definitely is. Okay, so the ceiling. Um, I have just put up that kind of, I wonder can you see it? It's this kind of bubble foil stuff. It's kind of foil on both sides. And underneath that, is uh, this stuff here? So this is kind of it's 50 mil um, polystyrene insulation sheets. So basically, put that up and then put this over the top of it. I am going to board it next year, but I was so tired, so sick of doing the build that I just couldn't be bothered with. But basically, because it's metal, I haven't put any wood up there. I've had to attach it with. Um, you see that, the kind of little dots there? It's magnets, like mini magnets. And that is what's holding that up there, amazingly. Plus the tape, obviously. It remains to be seen how warm it's going to be in here. And how well that holds the temperature. Um, you can see this square thing. Would you believe me if I told you that that is actually a heater? That's actually a heater. Infrared heat, apparently, comes out of that. You can see how thin it is. That's literally all it is. Um, and just plugs in. So don't ask me to explain the technology behind infrared. I hadn't really heard of it until someone in work happened to mention it to me. Because they'd had like a they'd put up a cabin, a log cabin. It's something to do with the sun, it's like the sun's rays on a on a a cold day, say, in the winter time, so you feel the sun's heat, but when it goes behind the clouds start feeling cold again. It's a bit like that, apparently. So, remains to be seen. It does work. Um, I have tried it. It does work. But it remains to be seen what it's going to be like when actual winter arrives. Well, and I mean like below 10 degrees. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff I've missed. All that stuff would have been covered in the original video had I not have deleted it. But, you know, what can you do? It's still annoying me. It's taken me three weeks just to pick up a camera after doing that. So, um... I don't want to think about it too much. So yeah, um, just just to finish up then, um, we finished. Uh, it cost about fifteen hundred pound in total. I don't know the exact amount, but it's in and around that, which is a little bit over budget, has to be said. 
That's not including the wood shed that I've got basically an ideal shade, which is another like £270. So yeah, we've went a little bit over budget, but um, I think at least I've got somewhere now, somewhere that I can call home, where I can store all the stuff, where I can brew. Obviously, I don't have any kind of extractor in here. I don't have um, running water. But I've got an all-in-one system, so I can just basically wait it out to the door out there and boy, because that's what I was used to do, so it's not a big deal. It's mobile. Um, so yeah, I can brew in here pretty much, ferment in here, and I can stay in here and hang out and make videos. And with any luck, it'll be warm in the summertime, or warm in the wintertime, and cool in the summertime, because that's what I want. So... That's it. I hope um, you've enjoyed the little tour here. I can only apologise to everybody, especially myself, for deleting that video. That annoyed me so much. You have no idea. Let's stop talking about it. Okay, I'm going. Goodbye. Okay, so video so one, else. and then we go into video two, and what is this? What is this? What the f is this for f sake? This f thing, if I f deleted them f food, for f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f